It sounds amazing, but it actually is now the number one reason people are coming to our website. Hi, I'm George Crump, lead analyst with Storage Switzerland. In this Chalk Talk video, we're going to do a deep dive on tape. Why is it so popular and why should you care? Well, one of the things that's really driving tape is data. I don't have to tell anybody watching this video that it's growing. It's growing very, very quickly. The cost to store it is becoming a big problem, and nobody wants to delete any of it. So now people are looking for cost-effective ways to be able to store information. And despite all the technology we've developed around disk, which is all very impressive, deduplication, compression, scale-out storage, everything, at the end of the day, tape still remains the most cost-effective uh, form to store data. But the perceived weaknesses of tape are either being overcome or the fact that they probably never were really there or being better exposed. Let's talk about those weaknesses. Uh, number one is uh, the big concern that we always hear about is reliability. And this essentially drove the disk backup market. Um, and so what we've seen uh, in recent years is that, statistically speaking, tape is actually more reliable uh, than, than disk is. It has less error rates. What tends to break tape is, its, is, is one of its big advantages is its own transportability. And so it wasn't handled well, it wasn't moved well, things like that. Well, tape libraries now are getting smarter in how they deal with that. So a typical tape library uh, looks like this. It has a robot arm that uh, generally goes either on an X and Y axis or rotates. And then we have little slots inside there that, that hold the tapes. Well, what more and more companies are doing is packing tapes into groups and then moving those uh, on and off of a, in and out of the tape library so that they're never touched by human hands. And that keeps uh, reliability significantly higher. Okay? So we, we've seen reliability been very good. Uh, the number two concern is almost always performance. And the funny thing, again, just like the statistics, is tape, once you get it moving, is actually faster than disk. But it's that once you get it moving part that generally gets us into trouble. And so it's the latency of tape, not really the performance of tape, that people have a concern with. Well, what we are seeing a lot of here recently is that same library and then putting some disk in front of it before it goes out to being used by applications and users. Right? And so what we're actually doing is extending the file system into the tape library. So depending on the application, this could be an NFS mount point or it could be a, uh, a CIFS or SM, SMB uh, mount point. So you access it just like you do any other drive on your network. Uh, and all you do is copy data into here. It, uh, the software that, that does all this stuff automatically manages moving it to tape for you. So that's a very powerful capability. The, the, the uh, final concern, and this is one that I brought up uh, a while back when meeting with uh, the LTO consortium, is interchangeability. The, the, uh, back then, if, you, if I gave you a Windows 95 laptop and a tape drive, both created, let's say, in 95, 96, uh, your chances of getting data off of the Windows 95 laptop were significantly better than probably trying to pull it off a of tape since uh, the, the program that wrote that tape probably doesn't exist anymore. Well, the LTO uh, consortium did a very good thing and came out with uh, something called LTFS. And LTFS is, provides an open tape format and interchangeability. So it's almost like a thumb drive for the tape technology. What that allows us to do is uh, create these tapes like we've been talking about here, and then when we go to eject them, send them to another site that has LTFS read capabilities as well, and they can pull it back in. They don't have to be running the same application. They don't have to be doing uh, any special conversion or anything like that. They just insert in the library and go. Well, think of the ramifications of this in, in, in the different markets we deal with. Yes, we can send a lot of data across a, a wide area network today. Uh, we can certainly send a lot more over a local network, but we can't yet send terabytes and terabytes of information very quickly. Well, the, remember that eight terabyte cartridge, uh, we could slip it into a FedEx envelope and send it and have it overnight across the country. It's gonna be very hard to transmit eight terabytes of information uh, across a uh, wide area network 
uh, in an overnight time frame uh, given today's technology. So that bandwidth, the old line, the never underestimate a bandwidth uh, of tapes, the bandwidth of tapes in, a, in the back of a station wagon, that still really applies and it's getting better because before we would send it and you couldn't read it. Now you could send it. You don't have to worry about what the other guy has. He should be able to read it. So for these reasons, reliability, performance, and longevity, tape is really becoming something that people are looking for and it's moving out of the sort of place of last resort and really getting actively involved in the environment and being used as part of the primary file system. So again, I'm George Crump, lead analyst with Storage Switzerland. Thank you for tuning in today.